Hey guys, this is Patrick from Secret Base Design. We've got a new app called Apollo MIDI over Bluetooth, and I want to give you a quick run through of what it does. Apollo sends MIDI messages from one iOS device to another, or between an iOS device and a Mac using Bluetooth. If you ask why Bluetooth, well, Bluetooth connections are really low latency. Most game consoles use Bluetooth for their controllers because they offer great responsiveness and no wires. So let's have a quick demo. We'll start up Apollo on an iPad and also on an iPhone. We'll select an A endpoint for the iPad, a B for the iPhone, and then we'll have them search for each other. Both devices search, they connect, and now we can send many messages from one to the other. I'll switch over to BS16i on the iPad and Sound Prism on the iPhone, and now we can send messages across. It really is that easy. A couple of taps, you're connected. MIDI goes from one to the other. Connecting your iOS device to a Mac is just as easy. There's a Mac version of Apollo in the App Store. You can send MIDI notes from your iOS device to GarageBand on the Mac, or you can trigger synthesizers and samples on your iOS device using something like Logic. If you know what MIDI is, you probably already know how you can use Apollo in your studio. Now for a little bit of the fine print, Apollo uses Bluetooth LE, which is only available on the iPad 3, 4, Air, and Mini, and on the iPhone 4S and newer. Newer Macs support Bluetooth LE, but on older Macs you might need a USB Bluetooth adapter. That's a quick overview of Apollo for iOS and Mac. You can check it out now in the iTunes Store.